What's up everyone, Mike from Flight Club. In my last Tiny Hoop video, I looked at three quads in the 75mm range. The Inductrix FPV was too expensive and only ran Spectrum, but I liked the Meow mode. The Bull Clash B06 had poor quality, but I liked the brushless motors. And the Beta 75 was all around good, but I would have liked to have a little bit more power. So what I have here is the Beta FPV Beta 75 Pro. This quad has all the good features of all those other quads and more. This is a 75mm quad with 40mm quad, bl quad blade props and is using brushless motors, the 703 15,000kV, which are the same specs as the Bolt Clash, except these, Bolt, except these Beta FPV uh, brushless motors are way smoother and have way more power. It runs Beta Flight uh, 3.2 with Betaflight OSD so you can configure OSD to show all the info you like like flight time, battery voltage and all that other stuff and the OSD also enables you to tune your PIDs from your Tyrannus. The ESCs are flashed with D-Shot 600 so that means you can have turtle mode and motor beep. I'll show you how that works in a little bit and it has a built-in 25 milliwatt 40 channel VTX with race band frequencies. Um, to change the channels, you have to take off the canopy, and it's just a simple one button, um, one button function. You just click the button one time to change the channels, and then hold the button down for four seconds to change the bands. Um, it comes with this one cell uh, HV 550, 550 milliamp battery. Um, these batteries run about six and a half bucks, which isn't bad considering you get about four to five minute flight times with some really powerful motors. It weighs 28 grams with no battery and 42 grams with this 550 milliamp battery. And you could get them with um, all sorts of different kinds of receivers. You could get the uh, Free Sky, Spectrum, or Futaba. I'm running the Free Sky version, so it has a, it comes with a little XM receiver down here. The Beta 75 Pro doesn't come with any manuals, but it's super simple to set up. I had the RX bound, the Betaflight set up, and I was chasing my dog around the house within five minutes of opening the box. To set up the Beta 75 Pro, it's pretty much exactly setting up like setting up a regular quad running Betaflight 3.2 and D-Shock. So first, you just have to bound the RX. I'll just go over the highlights on how to set up your Tyrannus to bind to your um, Beta 75 Pro. Uh, first, Gentlemen. first, since we're running the XM uh, receiver, just make sure your um, your receiver is set on D16 mode and then go set up some switches for the modes so go down here I'm setting up auxiliary um, 1 which is channel 5 on the SD switch this will be my arm and then my beeper and then S my auxiliary 2 will be SE which is this one this will be set up for my flight modes and then SD or I mean uh, channel 7 which is auxiliary 3 will be set up on the SB and this will be to enable my turtle mode. So to bind the, the Beta 75 you just push the little bind button on the XM while powering up your quad. So I'm going to get this lined up. So when I push this button, kind of tight in there. I'll just use this. So you're just going to push the bind button while powering up the quad. So once you do that, you'll see a solid red light on the XM on the XM plus and then you exit out of here and you go to your bind. And when I hit bind, you'll see this uh, red LED start flashing. When you see it start flashing, you can exit out of this and turn everything off. Unplug your quad. And then when you power back on, your um, quad should be bound to your Tyrannus. You have a solid green light on my on my XM. That means I'm bound. 
So I'll just quickly go over my beta flight screens. I won't go step by step on how to set it up because if you know how to set up a regular quad, you know how to set up one of these, but I'll just show you my screens. So when I first hooked it up to beta flight, I was, I was surprised to see that it had D-Shot 600 selected. Um, so I connected it up to Bia Heli and it came flash with 16.7. And so I confirmed that it was D-Shot. So, um, I left the acceler accelerometer selected so I can have the angle and horizon modes but you'll just have to set some CLI commands to have it armed properly and I'll show you that later. So on the other features I should have disabled the telemetry because I'm running an XM um, FR Sky XM receiver so I believe that it can have RSSI, RSSI but you have to flash the XM to a different firmware so um, I really don't need RSSI for a tiny hoop so I didn't bother with it so just enable air mode OSD and um, I'm not quite sure if the anti-gravity and dynamic filter are really noticeable on a tiny hoop but I enabled it anyway because I, I do that on all my other quads so on the PID screen, even on PIDs with the uh, default PIDs with just the rates turned down, it flew great. The brushless motors with the quad blade props had enough power to fly rate mode really well and do simple freestyle maneuvers. Um, these are the rates I use on my 5 inch quads so I could probably go up just a bit, a little bit more just so I can do um, rolls and flips faster. But this... Um, the Beta 75 Pro has enough power to do like flips and uh, flips and rolls and, and cool little things like that. So on the OSD screen, I try not to get too cluttered. Um, I just display the necessities like flight time, battery voltage. Um, I just enabled the the uh, call sign, flight mode, and throttle just for the the video, just to, so you guys can see what mode I'm flying in and how much throttle I'm actually using. So I'll just show you what um, what all this stuff is when I have it set up. So that little uh, Star Wars startup tone, um, I just flashed the ESCs to, I believe it was 16.67 D-Shot uh, commands, and then I just changed the beeper strength to, uh, I believe it was 91. So 91 is Star Wars, 92 is like some crazy start tones, and I think 93 is like Game of Thrones or whatever. But anyways, okay, so let's just swap these positions. So here's my arm. Beeper. Engine. And then my, obviously you can't see, but this is my fly, uh, fly modes. And then here is turtle mode. So to enable turtle mode, I have this set to turtle mode. And then when I arm, you can see. So I'll try to show you what it looks like here. Oops. So yeah, you get you get the idea. When you flip, uh, if you crash, whatever, you just use your turtle mode, flip it back over, which is a really cool feature. It's just like uh, the Inductrix FPV um, meow mode, but it's actually better than meow mode because the meow mode, when you enable it, it goes like if you're like this, it goes 100% um, uh, motor motor spinning. Whereas this one, you could kind of whoops, not this way, but like flip it over you can adjust uh, how how fast you want the motor to spin so that's pretty much just showing you all the all the cool things that you can do in um, in the beta 75 pro if, uh, running beta flight 3.2 with D shot you set it up pretty much exactly like your regular 5 inch quads the beta 75 pro retails for about $120 and comes with one battery you can pick up uh, two batteries for like 13 bucks on Amazon so that comes out to about six and a half bucks each and I also recommend this craze pony charger um, this is a six port charger that has selectable uh, 0.6 amp or 0.2 amp uh, charge current and you can also select from a regular 4.2 volt or HV 4.35 um, charge charge voltage 
and it's, it also has plugs for I guess these bigger tiny hoop batteries and then maybe the older style tiny hoop and then um, it powers from any XT60 LiPo battery 6 volts to 26 volts in and it also has this cool little USB 5 volt out so while you're charging your U, um, your tiny hoop batteries you can connect the USB um, and you can charge your phone or whatever else needs a 5 volt USB and the way this works is you just take a regular LiPo battery with the XT60 just plug it in and then you just select the settings you want on the um, on the charger and then you just plug these in and then they just start charging and then when um, when it's charging the LED is green but when it's done the uh, the LED will turn off and you can charge these little smaller batteries on here too so I highly recommend this charger it was only like 16 bucks on Amazon um, this is better than the the beta FPV version because the beta FPV version is like 18 bucks and it has less features so highly recommend this charger I'll put links in the comments below so what I really like about the Beta 75 Pro is a power. The other tiny hoops that I've flown, the quad just feels way too underpowered to fly in acro. The Beta 75 Pro in rate mode, you can fly almost like a bigger quad. You can power through the turns or punch the throttle to correct for any errors, and it's big enough and has enough power to fly in your backyard, even with a slight breeze. So, for $120, it's a brushless hoop with Betafly OSD, Toro mode, motor beep. Uh, long flight times, cheap parts, and loads of fun. So I highly recommend the Beta, Beta FPV Beta 75 Pro. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments below or on my website. And if you found this help, video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.